<laughs> yeah, I, I grew up thinking, you know, having HIV was like a death sentence. Yeah. But what I didn't realize was that people can just lead normal lives mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. just being treated for it. Like it's just a daily pill now where you can never transmit it to anyone else. True. You equals you. Like I rely on science and it's the percentage is zero percent. You cannot <laughs> contract it yeah, through yeah, someone true. else. So uh, there's the stigma because people think that, you know, they're afraid of whoever is HIV that they're going to give it to them. One of my friends, his mom would clean the toilet right after he goes, you See, know. That that's mm -hmm. crazy. Like that's insane. People just need to have more education about this stuff. Yeah, I went to another clinic, which I won't badmouth them, <laughs> and it felt like, no, it felt like going to an after-hours club. Oh, no. <laughs> and I'm like, no it's well. almost like they're like this. You're like, oh, girl, you're here. Oh, oh. Really? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. It was wow. a very vibe in that room, and I like try to even find out times to go when no one went. Oh, and it was just like, mm -hmm. because like, I've had my few STIs back in the world, and I used to be a slut back in the day. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it was just like, I just felt uncomfortable going in. I just felt like me, out of all people, shame, shameful, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know. And I'm so happy that Drew reached out to me mm -hmm. um, to do the campaign and make it okay and make it important. Mm -hmm. Not just okay, make it safe and important to mm -hmm. come here. Yeah. Um, the staff, everything is so welcoming. And um, and I'm not just saying it because this is the campaign. I, I Those are like nay, day and night mm -hmm. feelings yeah. of when I went to the other clinic. Even straight clinics, they don't know what the hell no. we're talking about. You yeah. say prep, they're like, what was what that? that? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Shut it down. Yeah. yeah. So what was your experience, sir? As I said, like my family is very hush-hush about sex, so like, like the internet was a lot like there was some good education but it's, there's a lot of bad education out there about sex so there was and this and i grew up catholic so uh the the school system did not help like growing up i didn't i was confused about organism and an orgasm all the time <laughs> so um so there was like not a lot of information and just i think it's just about like uh just finding about sex through stumbling upon um, and uh, there were a lot of times when I didn't know like the proper like safe sex techniques and stuff like that and um, I did like I, I slowly becoming more educated through like having sex and talking to people and that and that's why I'm really proud to be a part of this campaign because um, I want to have more people um, have uh, access to resources like the prep clinic to not be as confused as I was when I was growing up. They don't need to like be stumbling upon, um, you know, like how to use a condom or like, like if like if you want to have the sex that you want to have, like how do you do that and not feel guilt or not feel like you're gonna be in danger or uh, or anything like that. So um, yeah, I'm really proud of being a part of this campaign because it's like it's owning your crown. It's like having the sex that you want to have and um, just like being a part of uh, uh, the greater good of like practicing yes. safe sex. Yes, yeah. love that. Well, I love the campaign, the owning your crown. I think owning all aspects of yourself is just so powerful because when you have that full acceptance of yourself, you're able to make choices that are empowering to you. And I think having something like the prep clinic in which there is that, there, that choice there that you can make to have like um like a healthier sex life and with me and sex girl i thought like bareback meant that like when you like lifted somebody's shirt up and like humped their back <laughs> <laughs> i literally thought that's what bareback was leave this in edit please <laughs> <laughs> i was like yeah when you hump someone's back right they're like no like, okay yeah <laughs> I'm more educated now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so, I think for me, this is like a full circle moment. I started with the prep clinic uh, because we were opening up a relationship and we wanted to, you know, do it bareback, not the way that you would do it. <laughs> <laughs> I I loved it, you know. I, I I was truthfully like before being on prep. I was afraid of hooking up with HIV positive people. I 
wasn't aware of it and then when i was educated and aware i'm like oh yeah you equals you it is undetectable mm -hmm. and that whole stigma just being removed and yeah so I, yeah, that's why i wanted this campaign as well to work out because there's like you said everyone is on prep there's so many people and even people like from different backgrounds so we need to share that story we need to show the struggle of it's not yeah it's that's pretty much it <laughs> <laughs> uh, i know sometimes is it a little, a little bit confused the information in in the internet um and honestly uh, in my experience when i was when i got any when i thought that i had any style i my first reaction was find something in in internet i read the ser serums um symptoms and and you get all crazy yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. But self diagnosed yeah, yeah. <laughs> but google oh yeah yeah google is is a is a friend but this is an enemy <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Also. yeah. 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 So, um yes yeah, the, the 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 idea of t of part of this this campaign is is to 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 say to other people to say the latin community people <laughs> uh that that we have shoes to to have a, a a sexual health um that that is normal we we need to grow that stigma mm -hmm. that we we that we we grow in our childs on on that uh, yeah Yes. Exactly. Yeah, if you're gonna hack sex, you're gonna yeah. might catch some STI. Yeah. So why not be informed about them? Why yeah. not, you know, see ways to yeah, mitigate have, that risk? Or ha like have sex, but but be healthy. Be safe. Yeah, be at the same time, you can, yeah. you can do both. Be aware. Yeah.